something more. Does this have anything to do with the war against corruption? Which one now? This growth. I mean, I recall just listening to, <laughs> listening over the radio, somebody calling in and saying that, you know, the fact that government is now saying that we're out of a recession goes to show that corruption was never anything that had to do with our economy, that corruption was by itself, that even though government had recovered funds, uh, you know, they had not, they are yet to spend some of those money or any of those monies, and yet we're out of a recession. So what did corruption have to do with the economy? Well, the, the primary issue for me is whether we're out of recession. recession. Secondly, uh, corruption has been so thoroughly democratized that its impact is rarely understood. You're not talking about corruption. Okay, you've recovered some money. You're talking about the fact that the money you recovered was supposed to have made Mala Musa spend less because the, way, the road on which he drives his car doesn't make it spoil often. That people are going to school and actually being taught that there are um, drugs in the hospitals, these are the things that are supposed to result from it. So, yeah, money has been recovered. It is not correct to say that there's no relationship between corruption and the state of the economy. When there's massive corruption, as you had in the banking sector before the collapse, what happens is that those who are supposed to act as uh, custodians of value and regulators become conspirators. That's where you have undertakers acting as midwives. They conceal the facts and then talk about uh, macroeconomic indices, uh, inflation ratios, and the rest of it. Naira has grown stronger against. I have no interest in such analysis, except as materials for conversation and to be part of what you might call enlightened economic discourse beyond here. But the truth is, no matter the kind of analysis you do, if the man out there, on behalf of whom and in the name of whom you're spending, is not being spent on, you're on your own. And that is the crisis for us. Some people will say that this is, as, you know, this is now what has been seen largely at the federal level. Perhaps, do you think we should have a breakdown on a state-by-state -state basis in terms of what, you know, what the states are doing or how they are doing economically? Do you think that would give us a clearer picture in terms of which states are actually helping to drive this growth we're seeing on a national level? Yes and no. Yes, because it will be important to know how states are doing, but each governor will tell you there's nothing happening in this world until, since creation until he became governor. So you're going to have everybody competing for PR attention. The essential issue to raise is, if I'm a father, my income is 80,000 naira a month, and I spend 210,000 a month, and I keep borrowing, where am I headed? This nation, and it's not about the Buhari regime, we've co uh, cultivated a culture of deficit budgeting and irresponsible spending for decades. And we've all gotten accustomed to it. So you have a state with an idea of, let's say, just two billion with a budget of eight billion because it's receiving from somewhere. So you're encouraging consumption and distribution, not productivity. Yeah, some people, Within, will, some we, people will disagree. I mean, they will argue that borrowing is not the problem. It's borrowing for what? For what purpose? Yeah. And in the end, what do you get out of it? I'm linking all of that. Because uh, the, the still, that's the thing I wanted to say. You borrow, and then how much did the National Assembly spend on vehicles after Saraki became Senate president? Go to the States. The level of living is light years away from that of the people and so you have people who are looking at their leaders and seeing them as rogues, even within the extended family. Oh, uncle is, you know, he's in government. You know the undertone of that. But within that too, you have a followership that now gets accustomed to making the wrong demands because they think that everything you have is what you're not entitled to. So the crisis of value then creates a rot on the ground. And government doesn't feel embarrassed that it's not performing. So taking it back to the issue you raised, yes. We need to see the impact. States, if you break it down, who will do that? Yeah, NGOs are doing that. It will help. So I find the states that actually, if you look at Lagos, for instance, mm -hmm. IGR, you look at KB, the rice business, and the partnership with Lagos, if you begin that, that kind of comparative analysis, mm -hmm. states will be forced to actually put up something that can be objectively endorsed. Oh, you're doing well in this area. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, that's, that's a way to go. Because at the end of the day, as you said, 
uh, you know, the analysis is how is this affecting Nigerians and how is it incre increasing their spending capacity and their quality of life. And, you know, they will argue that majority of those Nigerians are in the states. They're not in the federal capital yes. territory. So perhaps, you know, as you rightly said, maybe the analysis should happen. Should we have the Ni Nigerian Bureau of St the National Bureau of Statistics looking at the states then? It's been doing that. Mm -hmm. So I don't know whether I have to buy glasses like me. To, to, to see better, <laughs> you know, but, but the essential element is that, yeah, you do that analysis, you find out how the states are doing, more importantly, we move away from the delusions we've come to use for decades now as assessment of national performance. If any government assesses itself, it will tell you all that it has achieved. And it's been happening, at the, and each time a new governor comes, he begins to do exactly the same thing that was achieved, quote and unquote, by the previous governor. The same with federal government. We had national development plans, 10 year, under Babangida it became rolling plans. After all of that, civilian, uh, they, 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 since 99, we've been having re 